Hey everybody, welcome back to the first Summer Hall edition of A Week in Geekdom. Unfortunately, a ton of packages are missing, so I will do a part two to this video, but technically it does count for the Hall of June 2020. That was a very long intro. I don't know why I did that. Welcome back, everybody, to another exciting episode of A Week in Geekdom. Geo here, and today we're going to be going over all the cool stuff I acquired in the month of June 2020. Like I said at the intro, I am missing a bunch of packages, some really cool items, some some semi-grails, personal grails, I should say. It was a really crazy month, so hopefully you do stick around in this channel to see part two which should be at the end of july or maybe at the start of august i i don't know but just stay tuned for that thank you everybody for tuning in if you would like for me to review any of the products that you're about to see let me know in the comments section down below and i'll add them to my infinite queue list of things but yeah what that usually means is that i'll place a priority on it and i will get to it as soon as humanly possible Let's start with anime. I've got Fire Force Season 1 Part 1 here. I love the manga, made a video on it on this channel, and the anime was just really awesome and one of my favorites from 2019. Can't believe we're already on Season 2 this year. But yeah, this hollow foil slipcover is really awesome. I do like it a lot, and I cannot wait for Part 2 with the... Uh, chipboard box and the extras and all that stuff because I love me a good art box. So there is Fire Force. David Production just killing it with that series. Tokyo Godfathers is the next one from Satoshi Khan. I love Satoshi Khan and to finally be able to own almost everything in Blu-ray is exciting. We're missing the Memories short films uh, that is coming out soon from Discotech, if I remember correctly. So I'm very excited to own that piece of for my uh, con uh, collection. And of course, Paranoia Agent, which you know that Funimation recently acquired the rights and they're streaming and airing it on Toonami, if I remember correctly. So I'm very excited at the idea that that will get a Blu-ray release soon and I'll have almost everything con related so really excited about that but regardless tokyo godfather is an amazing wonderful movie that i cannot recommend enough one of my favorite holiday films of all time moving away from anime we go into regular animation i am sad to see this line go although they're still going to be pumping out more dc animated original movies but still the animated movie universe ends with this film just as a dark apocalypse war and i i used to review these movies on the channel i stopped doing it because i focused the channel more on anime manga and graphic novels but if you want me to uh, take a crack at this uh, then i'll give it a go maybe i'll do one big video with all the movies combined next up live action wise i got you the 4k edition of parasite one of the best movies from last year and I got the Steelbook edition of Birds of Prey on uh, 4K, I should say. It doesn't have the label, but it is the 4K edition. And that is it for Blu-ray movies. I do have some video games, actually. I picked up for the Switch Clubhouse Games 51 Worldwide Classics. I have been loving this ever since it was announced for the Switch. I've been eagerly awaiting it, and I, I've been having a blast playing all the games. They're classics for a reason, and to be able to play them digitally, you know, or, or on your console, if you will, uh, it sort of breeds new life into these classic games, and playing with another person or with the computer, it doesn't matter. You're still going to have a fun time. For the PlayStation 4, I got Persona 5 Royal. This is the Steelbook Edition, and this is a really nice Steelbook. I love this so much. I am really enjoying this game. I'm currently playing it. I, I think I'm, what, 20, 30, like 20-something hours in, and it's been really fun. I, I've enjoyed uh, going through this anime simulator, if you will. And finally, uh, this, a lot of you have seen this before, but I'm going to highlight it anyways for Xbox One. I got uh, The Wolf Among Us from Telltale Games. 
because I'm doing Fable Fridays and reviewing all the Fable oversized hardcovers, I kind of want to end it that series, if you will, with a review of the video game. Maybe highlight some gameplay while I'm talking. I, I don't know. I'm still figuring things out. But I do plan on making a video about this to complement the Fable series. Manga. I was supposed to highlight a bunch of manga, but this is the only book I have with me at the time of the recording. This is the final volume of Ran and the Grey World, Volume 7. It's a thick one, which is always great in this house. So yeah, I'm really excited to finish off this wonderful series and uh, make a review, a series review, on Ran and the Grey World. So here is Volume 7. Let's go into graphic novels or comics. Uh, this is a long time coming. I've always wanted to own the hardcover edition, but it is extremely out of print and pricey online, so I got the next best thing. This is the Battle Chasers Anthology. All nine issues, if I remember correctly. Uh, yeah, nine issues plus the prelude and Battle Chasers portion of Frank Frazetta's Fantasy Illustrated issue two. Cannot recommend enough if you like Joe Mad, and if you like just uh, boisterous, fantastical uh, action stories from the 90s, uh, you're gonna have a fun time with this. So yeah, lots of definitely a lot of manga influences in this, but uh, I'm excited to go through this because I've never actually read the whole thing. I've, I think I've only read like one issue back in the day and that was it. So I'm really excited about that. A few, I think a year ago, I got Skyward Volume 1 from Image Comics and I sort of forgot to get the rest of the series. So I remedied that and got Skyward Volume 2 right here and Skyward Volume 3. Next up, a book that I had previously in my collection and I foolishly sold it for some unknown reason. Now I decided I kind of want it back and at the same time collect the entire thing and it is from one of my favorite fighting games of all time from Udon. We've got Street Fighter Classic Volume 1 Hadoken and yeah this thing is pretty freaking badass. I, I sold this hardcover a long time ago and I believe this is the only one out of the whole line that's somewhat just a tiny little bit out of print. You can still find it. It's not that difficult to track but you know you always want those nice uh, discounts on websites like in stock trades etc etc. But I'm really excited about this and I already went ahead and, and picked up the rest of the classics and I'm moving on to the other series. And yeah, I, I cannot wait to highlight those in a video and talk a little bit more in depth about it because this is a, a really cool uh, comic book adaptation of a beloved video game franchise. And last but not least, this is the third oversized hardcover for Black Science from Rick Remender. This is the DCBS variant, so it doesn't have the logo and everything, but you can see it here on the spine. All right, let me flip it around. There we go. Perfect. A brief moment of clarity. I, I, I'd love this. I cannot uh, speak highly enough of Black Science, one of my favorite image series, and I cannot wait to read this and talk a little bit more about uh, the ending and the wonderful Mateo Scalera art. Everything about this is just really badass to me. Think Lost in Space, but instead of space, it's the multiverse, or the onionverse, if you will. Uh, you know, you got a group of characters that get stuck and they have to find their way out, and it's a whole bunch of stuff that happens in this series. But I, I do want to, I do want to make a video eventually on Black Sides. So that is it, guys. That is the first part of the Summer Hall 2020. Uh, I was missing more books, more uh, movies, anime, manga, more, more of everything basically. So I hope you stick around on this channel, not only for another haul video, but for the content I make, whether it's comic, anime, manga, reviews. I always try and put out something every week for you guys, so hopefully you stick around for that. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing, and being a part of A Week in Geekdom. It truly does mean a lot. Subscribe if you can, and hit the bell icon so you know when new videos pop up. There's a merch store link down below, and if I remember correctly, as of this video, stay tuned for this upcoming Friday for my next installment of Fable Fridays, where we're going to talk about 
Fables Oversized Hardcover Volume 3 on a live stream. So stay tuned for that. That's going to be Friday at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So hope to see you then. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. I've got to go. I will catch all of you on our next episode. (laughs) 